If you're a tasteless, rich, compulsive tool in America, I am here today to explain how somebody recently left the gate open in hell, thus allowing demons to possess your three-pronged suppository, while the rest of us sit here and spectate with an air of bemused sympathy. Details next. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap for buyers here in Australia. Website for that, obviously. Demons from hell infesting retardistani three-pronged suppositories in just a sec. But first, perhaps you are a card-carrying Mercedes-Benz fanboy and you can't see this for what it is, okay? Which is ultimate tack. So... If that's you, please do not spend another moment listening to my atrocious Australian accent, mate. G'day, here you go. <laughs> Good luck with that. You might even want to unsuscribe, like Brian did here recently. I'm unsuscribe, you're a loudmouth bantering idiot. Fuck off. Thank you sincerely, Brian, for your honesty and candor, for being brave enough to approach a keyboard in that terrible condition, and of course for showing others that there is a choice, somewhat like illiterate Yoda. Pro tip, okay, I never edit viewer comments, which I always enjoy, the better to preserve every literary nuance. You know it's quite serious when a person unsuscribes. It's emblematic of a complete relationship breakdown, you know, when your girlfriend says, Trevor, we need to talk. I found another auto expert. His name is Scotty, and I'm taking the children and moving to Houston. And then, im unsuscri being. There's no point attempting to patch things up when this happens. No matter how emphatically you promise never to save the boss's secretary from drowning in the bathtub ever again, and then treat her for consequential hypothermia, when they unsuscri be, it's over. Trust me, I've been there. I'm still scarred by it, frankly. I guess what I'm saying is, you really don't have to watch this report, dude. There's no test afterwards where they make you drive some piece of shit like an EQC for the rest of your life if you fail. Wheels Magazine Bullshit Car of the Year. Well done, geniuses. For everyone else, here's the story, okay? Tacky, rich tools in America were informed by Suppository of America on Friday that anyone lacking the good taste to refrain from installing the uh, optional illuminated triple point suppository logo for the grill on their GLE 350, 450 or 580 or their GLS 450 or 580 could find demons in possession of of the electrical earth. Demons. Demons with no taste and a poor grasp of aesthetics, be that as it may, but still demons from hell, you know, like down there, right in the pit. Hilariously, this grounding defect might be shared with the power steering control unit, the wiper motor, and or the left headlamp, depending on how haphazardly the, uh, let's call him, uh, Technician installed this uh, feature. Hashtag engineered like no other car, thankfully. Yes. According to Suppository of America, possession by demons might cause the steering wipers and or headlamp to, quote, malfunction. If that happens, this could increase the risk of a crash. You think? Amazing. Upliftingly, according to official National Highway Traffic Safety Administration documentation, Suppository of America has managed to find an incredible 12,799 chronic CMD sufferers wealthy enough to tick the box for the optionally illuminated CMD star, as I just decided this should henceforth be known 
and that's just this year. 12,799, that's an incredible result. CMD is, of course, compulsive masturbatory disorder. A terrible affliction that strikes down the recently wealthy, usually in their prime. The Mayo Clinic is working hard on a cure, thus far unsuccessfully. And the best they've managed at this point is this simple screening test for the wealthy. If you think this is a nice idea, some sort of statement, you've probably got that CMD gene. The test is over 99% accurate. According to the suppository of Merica website, the CMD star costs just 500 bucks and there's no extra charge for botching the wiring. You can even complement it with the LED illuminated running boards, which are just 650 bucks, should you prefer the full CMD suppository starship look. <laughs> this is, of course, quite serious medically. If you think any of this, any of this kind of thing is even vaguely elegant or a statement of sorts about you, you are almost certainly at risk of contracting full-blown CMD should you become sufficiently wealthy. Other warning signs include desiring a wristwatch or a pair of shoes costing twice as much as a studio apartment in the nearest capital city. And somewhat less commonly, CMD is thought to affect those who commission others to carve their name in block letters three kilometres long, the better to be seen from space in the sand upon their private desert island in the Persian Gulf. Oil Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan al Nayan did precisely that, memorably, almost 10 years ago now. Hashtag respect. I <coughs> think you'd agree. Statements of this nature do say rather a lot about a person. He has become, literally, the biggest name in desert islands. Imagine that. Big Ham, as he is almost certainly never known for obvious reasons, also owns 200 cars, which he stores in a pyramid, of course. It does seem somewhat excessive at first glance. He loves Mercedes, and presumably Mercedes loves him. Thus, he might not enjoy this fine channel. Go figure. Big Ham's fleet includes a giant Texaco tanker. A giant vehicles are a real thing for Big Ham. I don't know why. He also owns a double-wide Jeep Wrangler plus an eight-wheeled Nissan Patrol. And there's this somewhat excessively supercharged Lamborghini. Uh, seven classic Mercedes suppository 500 SELs. The glorious Beirut Uber. Painted, of course, in the colours of the rainbow. He is fond of rainbows and they do call him the Rainbow Shake behind his back. At the very least, it's all quite distinctive. Those Roiji Biv shit boxes. Icing on a very kooky cake indeed. No word yet on the functionality of the steering wipers or headlamps there. Anything's possible. Uh, look, in closing, if you've ever wanted to try CMD for yourself but you lack the funds to give it a red hot go, if building your own giant and or colourful car filled pyramid and monogramming your own island in the manner of Big Ham remains, you know, sadly out of reach. Leading Chinese innovators on eBay will happily sell you an uh, LED front light grill star emblem illuminated for Mercedes-Benz. Just 64 bucks 90. That's shit's in micro pesos, which is nearly free or four payments of just $16.23 on Afterpay. <laughs> Look me in the eye and tell me you don't want one. You don't even need a Mercedes-Benz donor vehicle to take full advantage of this incredible CMD for yourself opportunity to experience how the other half live. With a jigsaw and some duct tape, perhaps some corking compound if you want to do it fancy, you could experience CMD for yourself at a fraction of the cost of the real thing. Perhaps behind the wheel of an ageing Hyundai Excel or even Mum's Camry. What an upgrade. You know, she'll never even know. Installation's a breeze too, I'm told. Provided, of course, you remember not to short out the steering, the wipers or the lights. But hey, 
Only a Muppet would make a mistake like that. 